Hey, what up, crew? Your man, our guy, coming at you with another episode. Um, this is going to be Town Hall 8 action from our last war against 70 times 7 um, Part of the reason we were able to bring home the wins because we did such good work on their 8s. So uh, I'm going to start off with Carter here and his Mass Dragon. The first of his two Mass Dragon 3 stars. Uh, so shout out to Carter for bringing home a 6 star war. Um, I want to note this, point that out. Um, <clears throat> So Carter starts by setting his edge, and then just sprinkles in a few dragons, lets it develop, and then puts more in in the middle in between, uh, which I really like. Um, really sets everything up to path these balloons in to the wizard tower and the air defense there. Um, goes ahead and zaps out uh, the south air defense there. Um, the balloons take care of the east air defense, and... He drops a quake on the left air defense right as a dragon's getting to it. So dragon gets blown off by a sweeper, and the next breath or two takes it down. Um, I thought that was a really interesting spell choice. Um, I dig it quite a bit. I also like this delayed drop on the Barb King. Archer Tower shooting out at the king means he's not shooting at the dragons. Uh, dragons live a little bit longer. Um, and to be honest, that probably saved his raid. <coughs> Um, pops the king's ability and he just races around the outside uh, again accelerating his king here gets this archer tower onto the barb king before uh, it can lock on to this dragon and take it out um, which allowed that dead dragon to trap uh, trigger traps there um, again just little things that helped to save his raid because uh, this this is the last dragon he's got, and it's under 25% health. Uh, but he got the job done. <clears throat> so nice work, Carter. Uh, we'll see some more from you right now. Now, right, so go on down to this one. <clears throat> uh, again, double zap. Uh, this time he brings his own haste spell. Uh, the air defenses are a little more in line, uh, and he's going to be fighting in through the sweeper. Um, sets the edge with his dragons on the outside here and then just fans a few of them in still holding on to a couple drops those in with the rest of his dragons now so that he can target either the storages or the archer tower uh, drops that rage in to push the balloons into the sweeper um, <clears throat> little mini Tesla farm there on a Town Hall 8. It's uh, bad news for him because of balloons. Uh, one drop and a crash from a balloon will take out both Teslas, I think. Um, and then now all the air defenses are down, and he hasn't even put his king down, or his king just went down now. Uh, pops the rage on the king. And it's a race around the outside of the base, basically, between his dragons and his Barb King. Um, looks like the dragons are going to win. Uh, nice work, Carter, man. Uh, great six-star war. You're on a hot streak. Uh, I think in our current war, you brought home another six-star war. Um, so uh, hats off to you, man. You're, you're on fire right now. All right. Uh, so this is my second attack this war. Um I want to thank Powerbang for this strategy, this uh, quad quake go Vaho at Town Hall 8. Um, so I quake out this section here, which gets me into the core from the outside. I don't even need the wall breakers. Um, I knew there was, this was a cleanup attack. I knew there was a double bomb set there. I'm holding on to a couple of wizards. Uh, actually, I drop one because of, uh, I think, I don't think I'm going to have enough to get through the clan castle kill there. Uh, Valks are in and into the core, and they're just turning stuff to powder at this point. <coughs> uh, drop a heal down for the Valks while they get to, when they get to the core, uh, and then send in the Hogs. Um, here's how overpowered this strategy is. So, right, the Hogs are going in. Um, I'm trying to rage my king, I think, or pop his ability or something, and uh, instead I decided it would be a good idea to heal the grass. Uh, <laughs> um, worked out though, uh, my raid almost gets wrecked right here because I don't have that heal spell. Um, 
and that actually does kill all my hogs. That one giant bomb with that wizard tower and the rest of my hogs are done. Um, I still have four Valks up, three now with my king and a couple of wizards. Uh, so now I'm down to two Valks and my king and some bar and some like three wizards. But they all come back around and finish off the job, finish off. Uh, the king winds up tanking for the wizards and the Valks and it works out. <clears throat> so yay me. Uh, again, tip of the hat to power bang. Um, here's one where, all right, now look at the timer, two minutes and six seconds, right? Uh, out wide with the wizards, right? Have one holding on to one for uh, cleanup on the backside, uh, wall break in, quad quake into the core. So see all of this is open now. Um, clan castle troops are coming out. <laughs> And uh, I got the Valks working in. I got a wizard peeling off to the side. And I, uh, I just kind of fan the hogs in over here on this on the area there. Uh, I see a giant bomb trip. I see a giant bomb trip here and then here. And that's actually a double set. Uh, so I have a heal left for hogs and no giant bombs to worry about. Um, I'm kind of trying to wait and let my Valks get healed up with the Hogs. Um, so everything kind of meets up in that one compartment there. I dropped my backside wizard for cleanup down here on the south side. And uh, I, just, I have just enough Hogs left to, uh, to get through that last wizard tower. I think I still have a Valkyrie up somewhere too, maybe. No, uh, maybe not on this one. Nope, I do. She's over there with the Barb King. Scandal. Uh, <laughs> everything finishes up on that gold storage, and I have myself a six-star war as well. Elixir storage. Pardon me. <clears throat> it was part of the solution and not the problem. All right. Kiana uh, comes at this one with a go wipe. Uh, this is one of the very few times we'd recommend a go wipe, um, mostly because the base is completely open. There is the only thing that you can't hit... Um, without getting through a wall is the clan castle. <clears throat> um, so she sends golems in here and here and gets outside of her golems with her wizards, right? Uh, King goes down. Uh, Might have been a little late on the P.E.K.K.A. drop, but better safe than sorry when it comes to P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, so everything's just kind of working its way into the core. And notice that she just drops her first spell now with a minute and a half left in the raid. Uh, that's one of the things with go wipes you have to be careful of is uh, your timing on your spells. Uh, because the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Golems move so slow, and the Wizards move pretty slow too, um, they're, uh, they're, they're the limiting factor. So hang on to your spells, use them wisely, and you can have success with go wipe. But uh, as you can see, she just walks straight on through this base, just absolutely guts it. Um, Town Hall's going to go down here shortly. And uh, that Max P.E.K.K.A. that was in the CC is still up. Wizard's still up. Oh, uh, yeah, just way too much left, and it was over pretty quick. Uh, so great work, Kiana. Uh, nice three-star. All right, my man X-Panther. Uh, coming at this one with Mass Drags, the Zapquake. Um, so he starts off, uh, gets the two Zaps down on this one, gets his Dragons down, uh, drops the Quake. And now his Funnel's created. Uh, probably should have got another Dragon out here on the Army Camp. Army Camps just make such great Funnel Breaks. Um, but uh, his balloons are down. I probably would have fanned in the dragons a little sooner than that so that they were out in front for the balloons to get to that air defense. But um, by the time the dragon went down that the air defense was targeting, it was way too late. Um, so dragon's under rage, almost all of his dragons under that rage spell. Uh, now all the air defenses are down, and he still has like six or seven dragons left. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this one's going to be over pretty quick. Uh, they just they kind of go around after the core 
but everything's just going to meet up back on that town hall and uh, roughly <clears throat> this might be one of the ones where the Barb King doesn't die but his altar does I don't know okay how is that the closest thing crazy dragon pathing so it ends up with only one dragon left but still brings home the three star uh, great work X Panther all right Kiana once again uh, more go wipe action I don't remember watching this one um, so like this move sends in a giant to get the clan castle lore uh, <clears throat> and then comes in Barb King side just to handle it take care of it and we can get the clan castle all knocked out uh, really it was six of one and half a dozen that's probably the smarter side to be to be fair um, probably would have lost a lot with these mortars if she had come in on this side um, lost too many wizards, but uh, <clears throat> wall break goes in, and now the whole base is open again. Now the only thing that she can't touch without breaking another wall is the town hall. Um, excuse me. So uh, first spell goes down. Uh, some outside wizards up here to start working the cleanup on that side. Um, fans in some more wizards. I think she was trying to get them to go into the core. Looks like a couple of them took. Um, finally sets enough of this edge here for the P.E.K.K.A. to come inside. Um, and drops the Rage down to melt through the wall a lot faster, which is, which is great. Uh, it's exactly what you want. Um, now you got Wizards out in front of the... There you go. There's the heal spell. So last spell is down. Um... Everything's just kind of working its way around slowly but surely. Um, Pekka's backtrack to go into the core area. Golem breaks the wall. One Pekka goes core. One Pekka goes south. <laughs> On the south side, one Pekka walks out. One Pekka tries to break out. It's hilarious. Uh, the Pekka AI is so broken. Uh, <laughs> um. But uh, everything winds up converging over there on that west side and finishing it off. So great work, Kiana. Uh, nice six-star war, by the way. That was very well done. But uh, don't get too comfortable with Go Wipe. We're going to be working you away from that for sure. All right. Uh, <clears throat> show off my man Chaos here. Uh, level two dragons. Uh, this is basically a Town Hall 7 hitting a Town Hall 8. Uh, minus the level 7 king, which doesn't make that big of a difference on a dragon attack. Um, so, uh, sets the edge with his king and just fans in the dragons from top to bottom there, um, which is great. Um, and again, his spell levels are only Town Hall 7 level spells, uh, level 4 rages and heals, right? Uh, drops both rages down early, gets everything through, and then has a heal ready for the core, Balloons in a heel, dragons in a heel, uh, dealing with two air defenses. One air defense now. Balloons are still up. Uh, and the last air defense is about to go down. Uh, doesn't quite get it with the dragon, but the crash from the balloon takes it out. Uh, and now it's just a matter of cleanup, and he's got five dragons left. So, yeah. Uh, nothing to shoot at the dragons. Uh, nice work, Chaos, man. That was brilliantly done. And Cam, a resident Town Hall 7. Uh, level 2 drags. Again, Town Hall 7. Hey, Cam is a Town Hall 7. Um, this is. I, I've been closely at the Town Hall 7s with the uh, third air defense and see how that plays out, see if it's gotten any more interesting. Um, but uh, Cam starts uh, west side there, and then north side here, and then whoosh, plops his dragons down. Was that like a two-finger drag slide? Drag and slide? <clears throat> uh, first rage goes down. Um, oh, second rage goes down in the grass, but he rocketed those balloons into the <laughs> defense. Nice job, Cam. Um, way to make use of it, I guess. 
Uh, kind of whiffed with the heel, too. So it looks like there's a lot of room for error still in Town Hall 7 attacks. Um, only has three dragons left at this point. So, you know, a little bit of room for error, but still not a whole lot. Um, only has one dragon left at the end of it. And uh, that's going to be all she wrote. So hats off to the sevens and the eights this war. You guys did a fantastic job. Really appreciate you bringing the heat and uh, coming at it so that we could stay focused on the nines and bring home the win for the crew. Uh, so great job, everybody, at 1001 crew. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll have more from our current war, which we are winning right now. Three hours to go. There's a lot of attacks left on their side, though. Uh, <clears throat> so hopefully we can bring this one out. And, um, yeah, but, uh, until then, I'm just going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm out.